It is morning day two of my adventure with Donald from Soft Roading the West. And yesterday was one of the most beautiful and incredible days I have ever had out on the trail. If you have not watched that video yet, make sure you go watch it right now. Here are a few little highlights from it. I've done that Poison Springs Trail twice now and the views are next to nothing inside of Utah. This morning I've just been doing some exploring around camp. I like to get out and do kind of some hiking and checking things out. I've climbed up this little rock formation over by camp just overlooking it and just really soaking in this incredible view as the sun is rising and I can't wait to get back out on the trail today. We're going to be doing a bunch of wandering around kind of south of Green River, Utah and just trying to give Donald as much of the Southwest in Utah experience as we possibly can. I'm getting hungry. It's time to get some breakfast going. Let's head back to camp. I'm backed into this hole over here. The back of the Jeep has never been more accessible. Saturday morning and we're getting ready to take off, but I wanted to show you Donald's truck really quick. He has built this amazing truck camp setup that he's been working on on his channel for a long time. If you're into seeing people's setups and stuff, you have multiple videos kind of outlining the build and things yeah. like that and the transformation from his previous vehicle to this. So go over to Soft Roading the West on YouTube and check it out and you can see the entire process to where it is today. I'm gonna let Donald just kind of talk about the high level things and then you need to go check out his channel to see the full build. So tell us a little bit about your camper trip setup. Yeah, yeah, so this is basically um, a Lear aluminum contractor canopy, which uh, they make all these. These are all custom built to order. So I was able to order it to fit my truck and at the tallest height that they offer. And so that gave me a pretty nice space. Now it's a five foot bed. And so it's too short to sleep in. And so I built this um, extension this box basically out of aluminum. I removed one of the rear doors and made this in its place and that gives me the ability to have a full bed in there and still have you know a normal like truck access like you see you know people in there with in their full-size trucks yeah yeah and um, on the interior he's kind of he's still fitting some of that out but there's room for all of his storage stuff he's insulated it to kind of help with the temperature changes and a bunch of things like that i think it's still a little bit build in progress yeah but, absolutely but it's really really cool i just want to show some interior shots i think you guys are going to love this make sure to go check it out on his channel so you can see underneath he's got plenty of room for storage, his camping and cooking equipment. Of course he's got his Jackery over here. This is the 1500 I think on this side. Um, built in some kind of storage cabinets in here that you can use for things like that. He's got his lights up on top, all insulated. And check out this bed. This It looks so comfortable. When I was coming and checking it out last night I wanted to kind of kick Donald out and have it. Obviously you've got the window there, which is beautiful. You can open that up, cool off. This is an amazing setup. And Donald explores all over the Pacific Northwest and Idaho, some in Nevada, and of course all over Oregon uh, in the back of this truck. It's amazing. Let's go. There you go. Come on, you're getting up. Come here, come here, come here. You can do it. Those old legs can do it. Let's go. Gotta keep those back hips spry, pup. Good job, good girl. Thank you. 
So we have to start out this morning by doing a bunch of backtracking. We were originally going to connect onto a route through here, but none of the trails go through. So we're going to backtrack back out to one of the larger graded dirt roads out there and then start making our way around. You got a little squirrely right there for a minute. I really love the diversity of trail types that you have out here in the desert. So yesterday, everything we spent, you know, was slow moving two track. And while that is my favorite, it is kind of nice to break a trip up a little bit with some faster moving sections. So we've got kind of this nice hard pack, beautiful trail that we're cruising through and we can have a nice pace. It's gonna enable us to get up into another section up here that we wanna do some more exploring on some other two track and adds a nice variety to a trip like this where otherwise it would just take, you know, multiple days to even get across if it was all just that slow moving two track and I, it's just beautiful and the nice thing is is if we wanted to slow this down i've seen multiple spurs that we could go shoot down and do some exploring in fact i've seen two already that i'm like i've never been down that one i need to come back well we're just beginning the hike over to colonnade arch and the views off to the right are really pretty you're looking out over the labyrinth canyon wilderness area it's really really pretty and once you get to the arches it's absolutely incredible let's go check them out What do you think of the view there, Donald? This is unlike anything I've ever experienced in my entire life, and that is not an exaggeration. This is, this is awe-inspiring. And we're not in a national park. We're out here completely by ourselves, enjoying this arch and this insane view of this canyon. It's just amazing that after hours and hours of cruising around, there's just enough of these really interesting little pockets of beautiful desert track that they just keep me wanting to go and go and go. It doesn't matter how much of it I explore, I just feel like I want to see what's over that, I want to see what's over that, I want to see what's down that trail. It, it's just so amazing. And even this trail, which we've been on, we're just doing in reverse at the moment to get back out to the main route. And it feels like a totally unique, incredible experience.
you can always tell when you're getting really close to the river because the vegetation just skyrockets the amount that's out there and you can just see this wash is just so cool and look at some of those massive old trees some of these have to be hundreds of years old Well, we've stopped at this old abandoned homestead and I'm just checking out all of the different buildings and I'm just so amazed at how well intact they are still. You can see the mud and the clay and stuff that's been packed into the corners to help seal them against the elements. And it's really rare to find them this intact in Utah. It seems like most of the time it's just kind of like, you know, the foundation and things like that that actually still survived when they would build them with rock and stuff. But these are really cool. So it's crazy to me that I've driven down this trail on two other occasions and didn't notice these old homestead buildings. So as I was driving, I saw them, I had to stop and just look into them. There's one here, and then there's another one back up there against the rocks. Uh, they're both in worse shape than the others, but really cool that they're still here in shape and uh, you can stop and check them out. Absolutely incredible. That is going to put a wrap on this adventure. It is coming like a, to a very bittersweet moment for me. This has been so much fun exploring some of my favorite areas with Donald from Soft Roading the West and showcasing all these beautiful places that Mike and I have been traveling and exploring over the past few years and being able to share them with you has been so incredible. And at the same time, I'm so excited for future adventures and also so excited to start editing this footage and being able to share it because it's so incredible. Like, I chose this specific route because I knew we were going to see things that were really beautiful. Hopefully something that not everyone who's watched a little bit of footage on Utah has seen and really showcase you some of my favorite spots. Yep. And you absolutely nailed it on planning this trip. It was just, it was fantastic the whole way. I uh, loved every minute of it. Was just blown away by what I saw. I really appreciate the work you put into getting this put together and taking the time to meet with me and and uh, show me around your unbelievably beautiful state. One of my favorite things about this adventure so far has just been able to get to know Donald so much better. We've been friends online for several years now and being able to have the chance to just be talking and get to know each other and spend some time last night around you know your rig, just kind of chatting and hanging out was so fun. 
I'm so appreciative of all of you who have come here from Donald's channel to watch this video. I have a huge backlog of amazing adventures exploring some of those rem most remote places in Utah with my family, with my brother Mike and his family. Make sure you jump into those. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to follow us on the day-to-day, -day, you can do so on Instagram at Backroad Exploration. And last but not least, if by some unfathomable circumstance you're subscribed to my channel and not already <laughs> subscribed to Donald's, go over to Soft Roading the West. Subscribe. He makes beautiful adventure videos exploring the Pacific Northwest, Nevada, and other areas in that vicinity. And it is absolutely incredible. I love his channel. He's an amazing creator, and you're going to love it too. Thanks for watching.